Hey everybody, it's Rick from TPG HVAC, the Partners Group. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today about the Mars 10874, the Azure Condenser Fan Motor. So it is a multi-horsepower motor. Hopefully you guys are all familiar with multi-horsepowers and have used them in the past. Um, this one's marked an eighth to a third. Uh, realistically, we could have probably marked that lower than an eighth, but it's just physically probably not going to fit anything smaller than that. So you got a 10th horsepower application, you can give it a shot. If you get it to fit, it'll probably work for you. Um, but what makes it unique is not that it's multi-horsepower. What makes it unique is that it does both 825 and 1075 RPM. And of course it's reversible, so that makes it clockwise and counterclockwise. And notice, no capacitor listed on that box. So it's doing all that and you don't even have to have a capacitor in the box. So what does that mean to you guys? It's one motor truck stock. So if you're in HVAC tech in a residential market, you literally put one motor on your truck, uh, it's gonna save you money and, and cost riding around and you're always going to have a motor that's gonna work. So think about things like standardized billing, right? If somebody calls you and says, what's it gonna cost to replace my condenser fan motor? It's the same price every time because you're using the same stock every time. Um, big, big deal, new to the industry. So um, this is the motor itself. So kind of hard to see in the video, uh, it's a 48 frame motor, but it's actually shorter than even our shortest PSC condenser fan motor. Uh, also, of course, on the sides has the mounting holes for ream rood applications. So for that, that side mount rood application, it's gonna work in that application as well. Probably a good time to mention, I, I put some tape on that motor. Uh, we're gonna have it spinning in a minute. I just want you guys to be able to see that spin a little better. So that's my poor tape job there, but hopefully it'll, it'll make for a little better visual. Um, okay, so that's the motor. How do we tell it? what speed and direction we want it to be. So as a, uh, as of course, a condenser fan motor is a 230 volt motor, but every motor comes with one of these. Now that's a 115 volt programming harness. And so what's gonna happen is when we hook this motor up to 115 volt instead of 230 volt, uh, it's gonna go into program mode. So I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate that for you now. So you can see these leads are keyed. Uh, they're different sizes. Hopefully you can see that. So when you go to hook it up, uh, you can only hook it up one way. It's impossible to, to wire this motor the wrong way to program it. So once I got it hooked up, I'm gonna plug it into the wall. And you're gonna see my motor is gonna start spinning. And hopefully this is where that tape's gonna come in handy. Now as you can see right there, it's spinning fast in a counterclockwise direction. So if I cut the power right now, when I hook that motor back up to 230 volt, it's going to be a fast, it's gonna be a 1075 counterclockwise motor. Now, I didn't unplug it, but you notice it stopped on its own. And again, it came up spinning fast, but this time clockwise. Well, if I unplug it now, when I hook it up to 230 volt, it'll be a fast, it'll be a 1075 counter, uh, clockwise motor. Now watch this closely. It's gonna start spinning again counterclockwise, but quite a bit slower than it was earlier. So if I unplug it now, it's gonna be a slow 825 counterclockwise. And if I want 825 clockwise, I just wait a couple seconds. Again, spinning slow, this time clockwise. So it's just gonna keep repeating those four speed rotation combinations over and over again until I unplug it and tell it what speed and rotation uh, I want it to be. Now, if for some reason, uh, let's say we get our rotation backwards, right? And we need to reprogram that motor. All you have to do is unplug it from the 115 volt and plug it back in. And you can reprogram that motor as many times as you need to, to get it right. Okay, last thing. So I'm gonna unplug my motor. Last thing I wanna show you is the motor does come with a surge protector. Okay, uh, let me get a better view of that. There you go. So. After we unplug the motor, so after we unplug the motor, we're gonna run that wiring, run that through your conduit, attach your surge protector, and then wire the surge protector directly to the contactor itself. And that's all there is to, to hook up a Mars 10874. Azure condenser fan motor. Remember guys, all in one truck stock, no capacitor required, two year warranty, and it comes with a surge protector. Great, great product. Thanks for listening today.